Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Play by Play Gaming with your host, Kay. And the McAdoo. What are we getting into this evening, McAdoo? We're going to be taking a look at Every Hunter's Dream, which is a special event quest. It gives you an item, a special item, called the Wiggler Pot, which is then used to make some Palico armor, called the Wiggler Set. I'll just go ahead and give them all a look at that. I think it's pretty dope. I like the Wiggler Head. Get a look at its stats here. Not bad. Pretty standard items used to make it. You should have a decent bit of most of those. Yeah, you should have uh, encountered those other items. All weekly. And of course you get the rainbow dye. The pot will change color as well as the wiggler color. Got a little tail sticking out of there. So this quest is a master rank coral pookie pookie in the coral highlands. It requires master rank six. Not a real high barrier for entry. So it's considered a two star quest. So it it's right there along with the beginning quest. Pretty good palico armor if you're at that point, and it's quirky and looks interesting, so would be worth picking up. And Coral Puka Puka is not really a difficult monster to fight. Typically, once you get its attack patterns down, it doesn't do anything crazy. It doesn't really have any mega moves or anything that could really hurt you too bad as long as you're prepared. I always suggest being blight resistant against this, it just makes it a lot easier. Now this quest has been available on console since October, I think, maybe November, but it just came out for PC with the Grand Appreciation Fest. So something new for our PC users out there. He's generally in the same spot for this quest. I can't say always, because I've got a limited experience doing this quest. This is only my second time, so. But every time I've done it between these two tries, he's been in the exact same spot. And when we're done, I'll show you the equipment that I'm using. Of course, you know, using this happy weapon, because why not? I've always thought the Coral Puke Puke was an interesting monster. It changed a lot from the base Coral Puke Puke, where you have a poison type. Now it's a water type. I was on the fence between using my Switch Axe or a Great Sword for this one. we can see which side of the fence you fell on. Yeah. I, I am going to be giving the Great Sword some more uh, showtime during our videos. I, I really enjoyed my use of it in the first Every Hunter's Dream 1 and 3 video that we made. Although it is hard to beat a rocket-powered Great Sword. It just looks so dope. Generally, my suggestion with Coral Puke is trying to stay near like the back border, stay around its legs really, as they get hit. If you try and square off with it directly, it'll hit you with a water blast over and over, which is kind of annoying. So I generally try and stay near its legs. That was a bad, bad time to put it to sleep there, Jables. Oh. Oh. 
that's the blast, and then it, yeah, he just puts it right there. If you're in front of him, a lot of times he'll do that just over and over. So I generally try and stay around his legs to avoid that. It seems like he spams the blast when you're closer to him. Good job, Jables. Swing and miss on all of those hits. Oh. Now, if he runs out of water, a lot of times he'll go to a spot on the ground and he will just drink the water up. There's also water moss that he'll go up to and eat. Got my handy dandy Shamos with me. It is nice to see you recruited one of those. It's, uh, still open for the great Shamos? There will never be a great Shamos. The people demand it. Where is he going? He's going up this way. If you want to see a great Shamos, let us know in the comments below. Kind of like the great Jaggers. I definitely want some, some, uh, some more support for the great Shamos. More support for the great Shamos. I mean, there are there are tens of us who want the great shamos. I mean, there the only thing I, I can say is that if someone really wants a great shamos, we will know because they will put it in. But I, I seriously doubt someone's going to go out of the way to make a great shamos. We need it. Someone from Capcom just hears this video. It's like that's a great idea. We'll make a great shamos. If you want that kinds of interesting things with it, like make it our tempered, our -tempered, tempered only great shamos. Like that really big moss one. Yeah. That was an interesting quest. A little odd. But yeah. Broke something. Broke something again. Who's he just broke his tail off? He's getting close to uh, wanting to go to sleep now. I'm breaking all of him, so. There we go. Second. Aww. Hmm, looks like he is going up. So, we need to head this way. I see he went back down. Nope, he went back down. Ladies and gentlemen, I have no idea where I'm heading. Right there, apparently. Hmm. 
Nice and asleep. Victory. So we'll look at the equipment real quick. Sap and Shatter Axe, pretty standard armor loadout for myself. Skills right there, pretty standard. Like I said, I suggest Blight Resistance personally. It just makes everything easier. You don't want to be water blighted the whole time. Alright. And this is what we're after, right here. The Wiggler Pot. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you get the Wiggler Palico set. Yeah, it's a nifty one. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, everyone. Thanks for watching. Yes, if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. Leave us a like or comment below. Have a great evening, everyone.